Hi, I'm Terry and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. I actually started to make this card at home a little while ago and thought this would be perfect for my Sundays with Sizzix video tutorial. So let me show you what I've already started. I have stamped using the free uh, celebration stamp set that's called Flowering Fields. You can get this set for free with a $50 purchase between now and March 31st when this set is available. I stamped it on a piece of mint macaron cardstock using some basic black archival ink. And then I grabbed my white gel pen and I decided that I would color in the little puffs on this sort of uh, field image using the white gel pen. And then I thought, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut it out using my Big Shot and one of my ovals framelits. So I've got my magnetic platform, my bottom standard cutting pad. I'm going to put the oval around the stamped image and then top standard cutting pad, hold it in place and then run it through. Now I want a layer for underneath this image, so I have a piece of basic black cardstock and it's a scrap piece and I've taken the oval that's one size larger than the one I just used on the stamped image and I'm going to die cut that out. I'm not quite finished yet with my Big Shot, just occurred to me. I'm going to bring back in this scrap piece and I am going to take the happy day image. Happy day is from another um, celebration stamp set and I'll make sure that that appears on the monitor for you. I'm going to use the basic black ink ink up the image, stamp it down, then I'm going to bring my Big Shot back in, exactly the same sandwich as I call it. I've got another oval framelit. I love the ovals. I can't cut an oval or a circle if my life depended upon it, so I use my framelits instead. And then I'm going to die cut that out. So it'll be a phrase for the front of my card. All right, I have finished with my big shot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this stamped image back in. And I'm going to mount the same flower, I guess. It's not really a flower, it's more like a weed. And I'm going to add one to that side and one to that side. And then I'm going to use my white gel pen and color it in like so. Now, it's time to put it all together to make a card. So I'm going to mount this on or adhere it together using my snail adhesive. I love the white gel pen because it dries instantly. And then for my card base, I'm going to use a piece of mint macaron. I've cut it eight and a half by five and a half. I've scored it at the four and a quarter mark. And to that, I am going to add a layer of Whisper White that's cut five and a quarter by four inches. And that's going to be a layer for the front of my card. And then I have some designer series paper and I'm going to add a strip and then guess what? It has the mint macaron color in the design. Whoop. 
I'm a little bit crooked. Let's try that again. There we go. And then I'm going to bring in my flowering fields image layer, the oval layer. And I'm going to add that to the front of the card, like so. And then I have some black washi tape. I love this washi tape. I believe it's from the It's My Party pack. So I'm going to put a strip of washi tape across the front, like so. And then I've got two others that have the mint macaron. I think I'm going to use the solid. I haven't actually started this roll yet. So let me get that started and then I will show you how to put a piece across the front. There we go. Let's take off the end a little bit. I think I'll make my mint macaron a little bit shorter. Like so. And then the last thing I want to do is add the happy day phrase. I think I will adhere it down like so. Well, maybe I'll bring it up a little bit. There we go. And there we go. We've got a birthday card that was quick and easy to create, thanks to my Big Shot and my Ovals Collections framelits. For a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurement for all of the layers, hop on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While on my blog, make sure you're a newsletter subscriber. I have special newsletters that come out each month with project ideas I do not show anywhere else. There is a link on my blog to my online store if you want to place an order and get this stamp set for free. Remember, it's only available till March 31st. And I have a link to my Creative Express online club. If you want to stamp with me on a regular basis and get lots of project ideas, you'll want to check out that club too. I'm Terry. I'm nuts about stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.